there. And you know that it was nobody but Jesus that caused you to do some stuff. I need you to take a moment and I need you to open up your mouth and begin to bless the Lord in this house. I need you to open up your mouth all over the room and begin to put a hallelujah on your voice. stuff like that in church no more. That's for the season folk. I'm living this moment. Can I get a witness that can say, because of you. Now what do we want to do? You say, I want to thank you. That was before it got fancy. We say, and praise you too. Why? Because your grace Last year, she's a singer, so she said, You brought me home. See, folks don't know what that really means. The rugged hill, when it got rough sometimes, you were my God. Ah, the shine so clear. I ought to have a witness when I said, shout on the fact that God didn't leave you every time you messed up every time you did something you didn't have no business every time you turned your back on him every time you went astray you did not leave me I just looked at you and saw healing I don't even know what it means but God said heal from the crown of your head down to the sole of your feet. Honey, you just, I'm just I'm gonna shut that up on See, I, I need y'all to tap in with me right quick. Honey, I know this is a concert, but I want to experience God. I got us. I just felt something shift in this room. Because, see, I'm not the only person that need God to show up in my situation right now. I'm not by myself when I need God to heal me. I'm not by myself when I need God to make a way. I need you to lift up your hands, open up your mouth, and begin to bless Him. Hallelujah, That song gets late, we're not gonna be long. But I, I just feel a shift in this room right now. And it's those of you that are really expecting something. I'm not talking to the ones that are not expecting God to do anything. Because you got to know that when you come to church, everybody ain't coming for the same reason. Somebody ain't coming, they're gonna wait till they get home and then they're gonna say, Lord, help me. But you need to say, Lord, help me right here. Those of you that have an expectation for something that you want God to do, yeah, you, you look right at me and God, the Spirit of the Lord told me to tell you that you are walking into a new season. You, young man, you, right there with the black shirt on, God just told me to tell you, you're walking into a new season. Something in your life is turning around. Come on, can somebody point your hand to it and say, new season. What you've been praying for God to do. I don't speak unless it's God said it's a new season. I'm about to be on the horizon for you. I'm about to say a new season. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Give him a, give him the highest praise. 
that this is what you need to do. Everybody point your hands in this direction. That God would give her clarity. That he would give her resources to accomplish, accomplish what it is that she's trying to do. Because a lot of people are going to be blessed through what it is she's trying to do. It's a lot of people that don't even know what you're passionate about. People close to you don't even know what you write down. The videos you watch, the stuff that you've been trying to figure out how to get it done. But I heard God say, this is your confirmation to go on and do it. All right, I'm getting out of here. Every hand lifted up, every hand lifted up. And I do this everywhere I go, I have to do it um, because the Bible says in Hebrews 11 and 1 that now faith is the substance of things that are hopeful. And if we out here singing gospel, we definitely ought to be giving people hope. It says it's the evidence of things that are not seen. I tell people everywhere I go, just because you can't see what God is doing, it don't mean he ain't working on your behalf. But sometimes you got to know that the power of life and death is in your tongue. You got to be careful what you're around here saying. You might have spoke some stuff up on your own self. We have power. We have authority. The Bible says that God gave us dominion. That means authority. You got to learn how to walk in it. I do this everywhere I go, I'm done, I'm out. I hear my mama saying, come on, I know that's, that means time to go. But I tell people everywhere I go that you got to learn how to say, God is getting ready to turn this thing around for me. Every hand lifted, because some of you didn't, didn't run, you didn't want to run around. But everybody can do this, you ain't even got to leave from your seat. When I begin to say, turn it around, I want you to start turning. And when you turn, I need you to shout like it's already done. And we gonna get out of here because we gotta get back to Memphis. Here we go. Let's do it right here. Oh! Yeah. 